Hello world, welcome to my channel Code Artisan Lab. In this video, we will learn how to submit the data in database with the help of jQuery, Ajax and Laravel 7. I have divided this video in two sections. In the first section, we will learn how to get the data from the form with jQuery. And in the second section, we will learn how to save the data in database with, J, uh, with jQuery, Ajax and Laravel. So let's start. So first of all, go to our project and open the command terminal. So I will open the command terminal and we will create a employee controller. Suppose we want to save the employee data in database. So we will create here employee controller and model. So first of all, we will create controller, make controller employee controller so now controller has been created successfully so now we will load the form create return view create so this is our first section. In this section, we will get the form data with J with Ajax. So here we will create dot blade dot php. So create So for my convenience, I will use bootstrap. So here I will, I have already added in, in this project. So I will use bootstrap.min.css. Now I will create a controller. and create a form create form in this form we will create a table we will add three fields full name input type text class form control and the name is full name similarly we will create email and email and contact so i will type input type where will email name will be email contact will be contact so i will add or wrap this with the form tag and method will be post and action will be URL. We will create this route soon. Employee create. Okay. So here now the last thing we need to add a button. Put type submit class button button success and the name we do not we need to add a one more class uh, create no create save data okay 
now we will in this section we will get the data get the form data with jquery so we need to load the jquery also so at the first we will load jquery so i have already added the jquery in my public folder let me check yes i have added this so i will copy the name and put here with curly braces dot js okay now we have loaded the bootstrap and jquery now we will get the data with jquery so at the before the body tag i will add the script and i will add document dot ready and we will get the form data where form data equal to dollar form tag dot dollar i will use the serialize method from jquery so use serialize array so now check the data form data uh, we we need to define the event so when our form will submit then this function will work so when our form will submit this function will work so we can check this okay we need to we need to start the server so we will start php artisan so okay now server is running 127 this port i will uh, one more thing we need to define we need to define our route so in the route we will create we will create a employee create and here my controller will be employee controller and i will load the create method so yeah so this is our create method so now we will load the employee create so our form is loading now now we will open our command terminal uh, not command terminal sorry console and check the full name john john at gmail.com 3456 so here you can see that we have data actually it is a submit button so it is redirecting we need to add a prevent default so we will pass here event and e dot prevent default so it will it will prevent its default functionality because submit functional because the submit functionality will reload the page so here we have added now we will submit so now we have a data name uh, name and name name full name equal to this email equal to this and contact equal to this so in the next section we will save this data in database with laravel Thank you.